so this was an art trade from a while back. I completely forgot I did this, which is the entire reason the speed paint has not gone up yet. <laughs> so, um, the person I did the art trade with, I'll put their username up on screen later. Uh, I don't remember it right now. <laughs> Gave me a greaser bad boy and, a, and his softy girlfriend to work with. So I was like, okay, greaser bad boy, what if they're riding a motorcycle? <laughs> I had to use so much mesh and liquify pen and it was paint to get this to work because motorcycles are incredibly hard to draw <laughs> but yeah i figured that out I, I did have a lot of fun drawing the motorcycle though it's definitely something out of my wheelhouse yeah yeah <laughs> i used a lot of line variants on this one you know using bigger line art to to represent things that are closer, using thinner liner to represent things that are further away. It's the only reason this one worked at all, because otherwise everything would have blended in together. My personal point of view is if you look at a piece of art, just the line art, and you can't tell what everything is supposed to be, where it's supposed to be, you know, like all that, then you've done something very wrong. <laughs> So I wanted to avoid that with this one. I color picked everything directly off of the references I was given, except everything in the references had tint to it of all sorts. So I had to mess with that to get good colors for adding lighting. I used the color I was using for shine and then inverted it to get my shadow color, which I thought was fun. And then I added red overlays and textures and it just brought everything together and I had a lot of fun working on this. So yep, there's that. <laughs>